Hey everybody, welcome to episode seven. Thanks for joining in. As always say, continue to join in, continue to share, subscribe, and tell your friends about it. Um, any questions that you have or any tips or stocks that you want to go over, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll try to get to it in the next episode. Like I always say, I'm not a professional trader or a professional stock advisor or anything of that nature. Just pretty much sharing my tips on what I've done in the in the stock market so far since I've been trading, um, some of the success that I've had and some of the failures that I had. That's pretty much what I want to do on this channel. So feel free to join in any comments or anything that you feel is good tips for trading. Feel free to drop a comment below. Um, and I definitely try to address it in my next episode going forward. Um, in episode seven, I wanted to focus on day trading versus uh, swing trading. Um, I know this past week, a couple of my followers asked me about swing trading and what are some of the stocks that I swing trade and things like that. Uh, so I am going to touch bases on this video on some of the stocks that I'm swing trading this, uh, over this current weekend. Um, some of the stocks, you know, that, like I said, I'm looking forward to on Monday or Tuesday of next week, seeing how, you know, the stock rises over the weekend, things like that. Um, and I wanted to go over the pros and cons of swing trading versus day trading. Um, this is going to be a short video, pretty much want to keep it to the point on this video. But like I always say, any comments or any questions that you have, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll try to get to it in the next episode. Um, so to sum up swing trading versus day trading, um, day trading, pretty much, you know, you're trading a stock within the same day, right? So when the stock market opens at 930 and it closes um, at four, you're you're pretty much focused on that trade, trading your stocks, things like that. And you're in and out of that, out of that stock the same day. Um, versus swing trading is you get that stock and you go, you hold it over the next day, or over the weekend, things like that. That's the difference between swing trading and day trading. Um, some of the pros and cons as far as swing trading. The pros is, hey, you know, you swing trading and might jump up over the weekend with all the news or any PR that is released on that stock over the weekend. It would make the stock jump over the weekend. So that's a good thing. Uh, it's one of the pros as far as swing trading. Uh, one of the cons is the opposite of that. It's the stock can drop, something can happen over the weekend that causes the stock to go down, and now you know you lost money over the weekend versus if you day traded, you would have had that money versus you know keeping it over the weekend when the bad news came out. Um, but there's many pros and cons to going to swing trading. I would advise you all definitely go do your research on both styles. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's many people that do both. Me, myself, I do both. Some stocks I feel, you know, I want to flip it within that day. So I'm a day trader versus other stocks I want to, you know, swing trade it. I know some, some good uh, PRs coming out next week. I know it's cheap or, you know, they just had an offering or something like that this week. So the stock was down. So I know it's going to be cheap this week. So I want to buy that stock this week. And then going into next week, I want to swing trade it because I know it's going to go up uh, to levels that it was before or even higher. Um, so that's, like I said, that's some of the things that I focus on or some of the things that I try to look at when I'm going to decide whether I want to day trade this stock or swing trade it. Um, so that's, that's one of the main things I would tell people to focus on is look at the future of that stock. And if you think it's going to jump up, then definitely swing trade it. If you think it's more like a day thing, like maybe like GameStop or, you know, one of those stocks that was jumping before, um, with the Reddit thing going on, I would say those are more like day trades, maybe swing trade, maybe a day or something like that. But those are stocks that's very volatile, so you want to get in and get out as quick as you can um, and take your money as quick as you can. Um, so just to get focused on some of the stocks that I uh, was swing trading over this weekend, I wanted to go over three of them. Like I normally do in my past videos, I focus on three stocks. Um, so this week, I wanted to focus on the, the pretty much what was going to jump and I felt was going to have a good, good next week versus this week it was down. Um, and one of those stocks uh, was, is called NEPT. Uh, again, that's N-E-P-T, um, and that's Neptune Wellness. Um, I looked into that company about, it's about a month ago I looked into them. Um, it's it's, uh, it's in the uh, cannabis industry, but it's, it's mainly focused on health and services. Um, so they're in the health industry. Um, it's a biotech company. Um, they use cannabis and things like that in, in their products. I, I believe they have CD, CBD uh, oils out here already um, on the market. Um, but that is in Canada, right? So it's just like Sundial Growers or Aurora Cannabis, any one of those stocks, they are uh, Canadian based. So you have to think of that and keep that in your mind as far as laws and things like that. Um, but one of the things that I, I believe that I heard them say was uh, talking about crossing over, coming over to America, once some of the laws change, which I think any one of those companies that I just named before can easily come over from Canada and come over to America. But that's dependent on upon laws changing and things like that. Um, but this company itself, the reason why I looked at them um, about a couple of months ago, like I said, it was just cannabis. That was one of the main things I focused on. Um, but just this week, I definitely invested, you know, a lot into them this past week because they had an offering, right? Um, the offering was at $2. 
just like I spoke about last week with the uh, stock IMPX, um, they had an offering, and that's when me, when I focus on that, okay, I feel that's the bottom. That's the bottom's gonna go because you know in institutions and things like that are buying the stock at this price, at this two dollar price. Um, the price actually dropped below two dollars. I think it got down to like uh, it was like around a dollar seventy or dollar eighty uh, this past week, a dollar seventy two, I believe it opened up at on Friday. Um, and so that was something that I wanted to buy more and more of because I realized, okay, they are offering at two dollars. The stock right now is less than two dollars. So eventually it's going to go back up to two or even higher, right? Um, so that's one of the things that I focus on. Like I talked about last week, um, last week's episode, episode six, as far as offerings and things like that. Um, so with this stock, it was just something I had to focus on. I wanted to swing trade um, just because I knew they had this offering. The offering just closed this past weekend. So I knew Monday or Tuesday of next week, this stock was going to jump. It was going to have a good increase, at least to $2 or more just because that's where the offer is at. And I've now bought in cheaper. You know, my average is around 170 or 160. So if it jumps up $2 and that's 40 cent, you know, that I'm making per share. Um, so that's something that I look into and that's something that I, I am very intrigued by as far as companies and when they do offerings, things like that. Um, and this company, I already was intrigued about it before, before the offering. But then once I knew they had the offering coming up, it was something that I had to dive in, that I dive into and swing over, uh, over the weekend. Um, so that's something that I did. It actually jumped up um, on Friday. Um, I believe it got to like a dollar ninety six. So that was a plus. Um, but they are a great company. Like I said, they they are extremely well. When I say as far as their outlook, um, as far as the future, I think this company could easily be a three four dollar company or even higher. Um, but on the low end, I would say being conservative, three to four dollars. I feel this stock that's that's the price that it should be at. And right now it's around a dollar ninety six. Um, so that's something that I would tell people to definitely focus on. Um, it's in the healthcare services because it is a biotech company, but I love biotech companies because those are jumping right now. I feel like all biotechs are, is a great industry to be in just because how, how good they're doing. Um, another company that I wanted to focus on was PSTV. Uh, again, that's PSTV. That is a, um, um, is a pretty much a, another bio company that I'm focused on that I, that I say is a good company, um, that I feel, you know, now that they're going to have this conference coming up, they have a conference call on Monday. They're just reporting their earnings after Monday, after the market closed. I want to get in that on Friday, um, just buy more and more on Friday. Of course, I've already owned the stock before, but this past week was something that I was focused on buying a whole bunch of this stock versus all, all my other stocks because I knew next week, once they have that conference call and release some of their, their data reports on some of their products, it's going to be amazing. The stock is going to jump. Um, and now I'm looking at right now, this past Friday it actually jumped up 22 cents. Um, so that's something that's, that I felt, you know, that's good. You know, it's already started trending up. Um, and then by Monday or Tuesday after the conference call, um, cause like I say it's, it's Monday after hours, they released their earnings, which I don't really expect much from the earnings. The things that I'm focused on is the conference call and what they're talking about as far as their, their product line and what's coming out and what's to come. And some of the trials, I believe one of them was in a the phase three trial. Um, so I, I think that's, you know, major, um, if they start talking about that and what, what's going forward with that, uh, product. Um, like I said, that's another company that's in the healthcare services. Um, I'm very focused on healthcare services. I love healthcare stocks. Um, just like I love, uh, cannabis stocks and other stocks like that, uh, tech stocks. I really love tech stocks as well, but healthcare stocks is something that I like. Um, it's something that I feel that I can get into between six months, especially when they're down and they were, they're about to release a product. I think it's perfect time to get into those type of companies. Um, and not only that, PSTV, they also help battle, can uh, battle cancer. Um, that's some of their, their, their treatments that they have. Um, they have very good innovative uh, treatments to help battle cancer. And you know, as far as cancer, that's a big, big market right now. Um, and that's something that can easily jump $10, $20 or $5, any, any case may be with this stock. Um, so that's something I wanted to dive, dive more in and buy a couple more thousand shares, which I did this past Friday and Thursday. I at least bought at least five or six more thousand shares of this stock just because how, how, how well I think it's going to go. Um, so definitely I want people to check in on that. Um, that was the second stock I wanted to talk about. Like I said, they're having an earnings call, um, the, the earnings release uh, Monday after the market closed. Um, so I'm looking for like a Tuesday or Wednesday jump for this. Um, but I mean, I think it's going to be a great company. I think they're going to have great products coming along. Um, not really focused on the earnings, like I said, but I mainly focus on what they're going to be talking about in that conference call because uh, that's going to be major moving forward. Um, and then, so the third company I wanted to focus on, or the third stock I should say that I wanted to focus on, um, that I actually, you know, am, am excited about, and I think they also have a great future, um, is ONTX. Again, that's ONTX. 
Um, and they are amazing. I, I feel this company can do a lot of things um, going forward with their research and with their uh, uh, and with their therapeutics that they do as far as, you know, moving forward and into next year, I think that company is going to have a big boom going forward. I think that's something that people should really focus on. Um, another stock they should do their research on and start looking to buying shares, buying more and more and more shares of. Because um, the past two, the, the last two companies I just mentioned, PSTV and ONTX, you can't really buy uh, contracts in. Uh, so it's not more like option trading. It's more of the, you know, the outright buying that I talked about in my previous episode, episode two and three. Um, that's more, that's the company I would say focus on. That's more of a long term buy right there. Um, right now, I believe it's at $1.71. Yep, so it's at $1.71. After hours is up seven cents. Um, but this is a company that I feel next week is going to have a good week and moving forward, you know, six, seven months down the line, once they start releasing more products and start talking about some of the treatments that they have out, I think this company is going to have a, a big boom. Uh, so that's something that, I, you know, I want my followers to focus on, uh, you know, buying these shares outright um, and focus on, you know, doing your research on those shares outright um, just because these two companies that I just mentioned, PSCV and ONTX, I feel have a great, great upside. Um, NEPT, same thing, same on board with that. Um, the only reason I'm separating two is separating the two is because NEPT, you can actually buy a call and put options in that one. Um, so that's something that I want people to focus on as well. Because of course, like myself over this past weekend, I bought a lot of call options in NEPT. Um, just just bought them all up as much as I could, just because I feel you know once the offer and close and things like that, that stock is going to just jump up, and the more it jumps up. Of course, you can make money on your on your contracts and you can make money on your shares outright as well. Um, so that's something that I love to do. Um, so that's why NEPT is something that I, I really like because you can also buy contracts and you can buy the shares outright. And that's something that I, I enjoy. So I did of both, you know, because I feel the stock is going to go up. Um, you can make money on both ends. Um, and then with ONTX and PS, uh, PSTV, those uh, two stocks, you can only buy shares outright. But that's something that you start building over time because I feel by the end of the year, it's going to jump up. Um, so if you're going to, you know, look into it, doing your research on those two, definitely do it. Um, do your research long term. Don't think short term. Think long term. Because I think that company long term is going to have a great future. Um, and then, you know, moving forward as far as short term, I think they're also going to have a good short term as well. Um, I think next week you're going to see um, all three of these companies have a great next week and going forward. Um, so we'll see moving forward. You know, me, hopefully th those are the three companies that I'm swinging over the weekend. So I'm hoping to have a great next week. Um, and then we'll see moving forward. But like I said, NEPT, they just had their offering closed. So I know that company is going to jump um, just because the offering just closed and it's a great company. Um, and then PSCB, um, that, that company right there, I just know is going to have a great outlook. And then, like I said, not so focused on the earnings call on Monday, but I'm focused on as far as the earnings on Monday, I'm focused on what they're talking about, their products on Monday. We know what's moving forward, what are the stages, how the stages go on with their product line, especially since they're in the cancer market. That company is major. Um, so I want you all to do your research on these three companies. Those are the three companies that I that I uh, want to focus on that I'm swing trading over the weekend. Of course, there's many more other companies that I'm swing trading, um, but those three companies I feel have the biggest upside out of the all group that I'm um, actually swing trading. Um, so like I want to say, thank you all for joining in. I appreciate it. As always, continue to come back, continue to drop comments or shares, likes, anything like that. Any help that you all need, like I always say, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a, a, a professional stock trader. I'm just a regular state trader out here. I have a lot of success in it. As you know, a lot, a lot of you know, or just come and follow me from my other pages, as you can see the success that I'm having. That's what I want to share with you all, because for me, it's just free game. I just want to share it all, um, share my knowledge, and hopefully we can all grow, like I always say. Um, continue to share, continue to comment. Thank you all for joining. God bless.